Hello, and welcome to one of my many emulation tutorial videos. We're going to set up Dolphin to play GameCube games on Windows. This also works with Wii games as well. As usual, all links and instructions will be in the description for your convenience. First, we need to get some software before we move on to the emulator. This includes 7-Zip, click the annotation on screen if you don't know how to use it. We also need an ISO of the game you want to play. There are also other formats that will work as well. All that I'm aware of are shown on screen now. Before getting everything to work, you may need to download C++ redistributables, DirectX, and your graphics drivers for AMD, Nvidia, or Intel depending on your graphics processor. All links to those are also in the description. Also, let me know if you don't know which graphics processor you have. I can help you with that. Like I mentioned before, you need an ISO file or some format of the game you want to play. Downloading it is illegal, but it's easy to Google. If you decide to choose that route, you can do that if you're okay with it, but if you want to take the legal way, just look in the description for an ISO RIP link. Keep in mind that you need to use your own disk for that. Once you have your ISO file, go to dolphin-emu.org. You can Google it or look in the description as well if you'd like. Click on the download button here and click on Windows X64 here. Once your download's done, go to the Downloads folder and double-click on the installer. Click OK, I agree, Next, and Install. Click Finish once it's done installing. Now there should be a desktop icon for you to double-click. Next, we should set up the controller. Go to the controllers and click Configure under either GameCube controllers or Wiimotes, depending on whether you want to play a GameCube game or a Wii game. Now click any button, and the next key or button you press will be bound to that button. Press OK once you're done. Press OK again. Go to File, Open, and choose the format of the game you want to play. Click Open and your game should have started. If you want better graphics or performance, stick around for a quick and basic configuration tutorial. To improve graphics, go to Graphics and make the full screen resolution the highest resolution you can. In Aspect Ratio, you can choose to stretch it to full screen if you'd like. Now go to Enhancements, click Internal Resolution, and the higher resolution you go, the better quality you get. Same goes for anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering, but keep in mind that these settings can bog down the performance significantly depending on the settings you choose for them. For most people, I personally recommend only increasing the Internal Resolution sum and the anisotropic filtering sum. To improve performance, go to the Hacks tab and make sure that skip EFB access from CPU is checked. This may make some effects not work properly though, so if you come across strange glitches you may want to uncheck this one. Make sure ignore format changes is also enabled. This can also cause issues, but it's much rarer. Enable store EFB copies to texture only. As far as I'm aware, this doesn't cause issues, but if it does, once again, just disable it. The rest on this tab can be a little bit more complicated, but I'll leave that for a possible advanced configuration tutorial. Instead, let's do some more easy stuff. Go to the General tab and choose Direct 3D 11 as the back end. This may not always improve performance, but from my experience, it's the best one so far. Still, it might be worth messing around with. Also make sure that your graphics card is chosen in the adapter. Click OK. Go to Config. And make sure these two settings are checked. Go to Audio. You might also want to change the audio back into X Audio 2 for better performance. Another quick thing you can do outside of performance and graphics is double click here and go to your games folder to select it as default. Now you can just play by double clicking on the game within the application. That's all for this video. Comment below if you have any issues and I'll try to help if I can. Also comment if you want to see an advanced configuration tutorial for other settings. Otherwise, if you're interested, make sure to check out some of my other tutorial videos in the outro. Until next time, have fun.